Hey friends, this is your pal Press coming at ya. Hey, good to see you again. How you been? Good? Staying away from that COVID? Yeah, me too. But you know, I ain't seen COVID around. And not a hair, not a glimpse, not a sight, nothing. Ain't seen no COVID. Well, that's a good thing. Friends, what do you want to know? What's it all about? I'll be. Remember that song? <laughs> What's it all about? Well, it's all about corruption, lies. That's what it's about. Fraud. An attempted coup. An attempted takeover. Of our wonderful land. Our wonderful country. By unscrupulous people. That's what it's about. I know, it's hard to believe. But it's true. It's too much evidence coming out. I guess it has to come out for anyone to believe it. But you and I must hang in there and keep praying. Because you know, there is God who hears our prayers. There is. And he fights for us. He fights for this country. We are the leaders of the free world. And sometimes we're the only ones that stand between total takeover, total tyranny. I hope you know that. I hope you're aware. So we need to pray. And this is what we need to pray. We need to focus our prayers on Georgia and on Pennsylvania and Arizona. They would flip to red because this isn't over yet and they haven't counted all the ballots yet it's crazy isn't it but Trump can still pull this one out and he will pull it out President Trump Donald J. Trump will be president of the United States of America for the next four years. Biden will never see that, ever. Neither will Kamala Harris, ever. And we need to pray because we don't want socialism in this country. I don't, do you? I don't want it for my children. I don't want it for my children's children. And so forth and so on. I never want it for any of our prodigy. Yep. And freedom isn't free. And you know that, friends. Freedom isn't free. There's been a lot of people, good people, who've died for our freedom. And we must live 
You and I, for our freedom, we must fight the good fight of faith. We must lay hold of eternal life. And that life is through Jesus Christ. And I know a lot of people think that's funny, that's crazy, that's ludicrous. But you and I know it's real. And so we must declare. We must decree. That Donald J. Trump is and will be once again the president of the United States. The two-term president. 2020. 2020. And we must declare and decree that socialism shall never take over this nation, this country, this land. You know, there's a saying, and of the free and home of the brave. Right? Land of the free and home of the brave. And I want to say, I want to tweak it a little bit and say, this will stay the land of the free if we will be brave. This will remain the land of the free if we will be brave. We will be brave and take a stand. We'll be brave and fight the good fight. We'll be brave and they hold of eternal life for our country, for our children and our grandchildren and all the generations that shall come after us. It's time for us to be brave and fight the good fight of faith. All right. Target, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Arizona. Those three states turn red in Jesus' name. Turn red, Georgia. Turn red, Pennsylvania. Turn red, Arizona. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we just ask that you send your angels, we loose the angels of God to these three states to uncover voter fraud, uncover the things that, have been, that are criminal in this election, uncover the true numbers the true vote numbers, the true election numbers, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you, your kingdom come, your will be done, in America, in America, in America, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And that's what we do. We pray. Right? We intercede. We stand in the gap. And we are brave. 